Uh, Hitachi just passed a, uh, a uh, milestone, a hundred years anniversary. If you think back, you know, what we were, what were expectations a hundred years ago when the, the company was founded? Um, and then there's so many changes in history that's happened in the last hundred years. Um, it has to be, uh, you know, some unusual things or some, something, what is it that, that helped Hitachi to survive? Very few companies survive a hundred years. Uh, statistics say that most companies fail in the first 10 years and those that survive the first 10 years they will then be out of business in the next 40 or 50 years so in order to survive a hundred years there has to be something than just technology or leadership uh, it has to be something that has to do with core values right and as I look back at Hitachi and being a, a, a part of Hitachi now and having lived a, a good part of the last hundred years, um, I thought back about it, and what I recognize in a, as I study the history of Itachi is that there were some core values that were very early on in the company. One of the, one of the core values was the emphasis around research and development of technology. Itachi is a technology company. So the first product they developed was a five horsepower electric motor and then the next product they developed uh, in less than five years was a 10,000 horsepower uh, electronic generator uh, and they were able to do that because of their investment in R&D. Okay, very small and modest in the beginning but the, the uh, R&D that they invested in eventually became their central research lab and now they have research labs around the world uh, they are, I think they, they lead in uh, U.S. patents. They're about number eight in U.S. patents on a year-to-year -year basis. So a lot of, um, uh, in, uh, a lot of technology is, is developed by Hitachi. Um, what this has enabled them to do is as events change, as new business requirements come about, they're able to develop solutions to meet those requirements. Okay. Uh, after the World War II, they were recovering. They built uh, equipment to rebuild the economy. They built trains. They built nuclear plants. And then they built consumer goods. And all of this was uh, not only just high technology, but also very reliable technology. Okay. Uh, and then they got into IT business somewhere around 1970s. And then uh, in 1989, they acquired uh, a company and uh, renamed it Hitachi Data Systems. Initially, it was, it was a joint um, venture with EDS, but then they bought out EDS and it became a wholly owned subsidiary of Hitachi. And I've joined Hitachi Data Systems in uh, 1995. And so I saw this transformation of becoming uh, a US-based company, essentially, a reseller company, to being a core Hitachi company. You know, and absorbing, uh, integrating a lot of the culture that has been sustaining Hitachi over those years. And that is, you know, a focus on technology, reliable products. Um, also is a focus on the individual employees. Okay, the value of the employee, the training that we put into employees. And uh, for instance, during the last downturn, uh, many companies immediately laid off people. Okay, because the downturn was so sudden, first thing we'd do is lay off people. Uh, Hitachi Data System did not do that. Instead of doing that, we took pay cuts for our executives. And we invested that money back into the technology and into our people. And also we invested in our customers. Instead of trying to sell as much as we could to the customer, we showed the customer how to do more with what they had. Through virtualization, we were able to extend the useful life of their assets so that they could survive that downturn. And with that focus on the customer and on our employees and on technology, as we come out of this downturn, we believe we are well positioned to, to help accelerate the growth of our customers and accelerate the growth of Hitachi and Hitachi Data Systems. When I joined the company, uh, I think we had um, Hitachi had about 80% of the revenue coming from Japan, only 20% from outside. Now as I look at the company in the last uh, um, financial reports, close to 50% of the revenue is now coming from global, outside of Japan. 
and now they are a hundred billion dollar company. When I joined, they were about a sixty billion dollar company. So even in these downturns, uh, Hitachi seems to come out stronger because of the investments they make in their technology and their people and in their customers. And so far, I, so I think with this type of core focus, core values, I think we will be able to grow and prosper into the next hundred years. And I hope I'm there to see it. <laughs>